Hi guys, I thought I'd pop on here and show you my nightly gua sha routine. Gua sha is something that has been around forever and it's usually a technique used to move stagnation. It's Chinese, but the beauty industry has grabbed hold of it and has soared like an eagle with all these various techniques for minimizing lines, pores, wrinkles, what have you. But I personally use it for pain in my head because I was born legally blind and I get a lot of tension that results in here. And so I almost always have a headache, some kind of tension or cluster headache. And so I use my gua sha tools to clear them. And the lessening of my wrinkles is just added bonus. So uh, the product that I like to use in tandem is our eye serum because it has rosehip oil, which is one of my absolute favorite oils to use on the face. So I'll just apply it kind of in places where I need the tool to move and glide sort of effortlessly. I probably said this before, but like pulling on your skin, in my opinion, is just an absolute no-no. You want your tool to glide very smoothly so you're not actually doing further aging. There's two tools that I love. They're both rose quartz. One's a Lantram tool that looks like this. And one is this little guy that I got from fellow beauty company owner, Florence Oliver, who's amazing. I'll start with this one. It's really straightforward. If you're curious why they use quartz or rock to begin with or jade, it's in my opinion because it, it is so cold. It also will absorb your bad juju <laughs> for lack of a technical term. So what I do is I take the smooth rounded surface and I put it right inside my eyebrow line and I will just move it down. Anytime you're doing gua sha, you wanna be starting in your midline and working out because you're moving fluid, you're moving stagnation, you're moving your chi. This works for the rest of the body as well. The technique was medical to begin with. It's just sort of a coincidence that the beauty industry has kind of grabbed hold of it. And then I do the same thing underneath. I do move gently and slowly. I don't really pull. I'm not a huge fan of doing any kind of pulling around the eye. I do put a slight pressure just to help relieve that tension. With this tool, I do a similar thing under my eye. So I slowly step it, always working from the inside out. Similar concept to dry brushing. You have a center point and then you work from there. Again, working out. And then I'll do a few facial things, actual, you know, aesthetic techniques. If you're wondering where to find good how-to videos, you know, that are more extensive, I'm a fan of the company Lanchant who makes this tool. And I also like Wilding Beauty. They have really good how-tos. You would always kind of hold and then pull as you work your way up. So with the chin, like if you're moving fluid and stagnation along your chin line, or your actual, the actual, your like, my, in my case, double chin. You want to then move that fluid down your neck. Again, if you just apply a light oil, both our face serum and our eye serum work amazing for this. And I, because I do it every night, I have a pretty simple routine that I do. I don't go crazy through both my jowly area my problem, quote unquote, area. It's not the most attractive practice, but no one's gonna see you. In my case, only 8,000 people. Because I have rosacea, it is gonna stimulate my capillaries. It's fine. It's not gonna overstimulate it to the point where I'll break out in a hive, which is usually what happens when I get overstimulated. My favorite sort of and biggest problem area for me is I have this one pronounced wrinkle here and then my forehead wrinkles are quite pronounced because I don't do Botox. Not anti, if you're into Botox, that's cool. I will go over this pretty aggressively and ideally I should have a tool that has a little bit more of like a serrated edge, but for right now I just do this. And I swear to you, I wake up in the morning and that line is completely gone. It's incredible. And then I'll just work up my forehead, starting from the middle. Again, I'm not a professional at this. This is just my own nightly vibe. I'll use the shallower end to like work 
that forehead stagnation out. This also really helps with my tension headaches. I don't know how many of you out there have already gotten your second COVID shot, but the worst side effect for me has been these horrific headaches, just absolutely bordering on migraine terrible. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks, bye.